Hi, my name is Henok Tomaskan. I'm a bass player and music educator based here in Ethiopia, and this is my practice room. As bass players, uh, our function, our job is to play the groove. Uh, we hardly have a chance to play solos unless we're playing maybe in a, in a jazz vein or so. Uh, especially playing with singers, our part is playing uh, groove playing most of the time. Uh, the topic for today's uh, theme of what I'm speaking about is why soloing or playing solo is very important for musicians. Uh, even though we don't get to solo on songs, playing solo is good for bass players and any musician for that matter. Because playing solo uh, uh, will help us learn uh, chord scales harmony. To solo we have to know the harmony of the song. And also uh, we have to have good time and rhythm, sense of time. And we also have to know the form of the song. And uh, at the same time, we also have to create, soloing is creating, in this moment, a melody or a composition uh, in this instant, without any preparation. So we're asking our mind to do four or five different things at the same time. So uh, it's sort of a gym for building up our music, musician, uh, musicianship muscles. So our time will be great, our rhythm will be great. We'll have a good concept of the harmony of the song we're working on. We have to know the melody. So soloing uh, will enhance all these things. That's why we, all musicians, should learn how to solo. So uh, at the beginning of the video, you heard me soloing on a famous or a very common, um, uh, beautiful jazz standard called Autumn Leaves. A lot of musicians play this song. The way I teach my students is, uh, first, as bass players, they also have to know the melody. So sometimes bass players uh, neglect playing the melody. So. I will play the melody and show you. I'll play the melody for one chorus. One chorus is 32 bars. And after that, uh, it's good to play the arpeggio because the arpeggio is the chord. Uh, the chord notes are the arpeggio notes. So uh, I play the arpeggio notes, or I'll make my students also play the arpeggio notes. And then uh, I will ask them to solo using mostly arpeggio notes. So arpeggio notes for one, each chord, there's four notes for arpeggio notes. So I asked them to solo using strictly the arpeggio notes. And then uh, 
we go to the next step. So I'll, I'll show you the basic things. So first, the first chorus, I'll play the melody. The second chorus, I'll play the arpeggio. And the third chorus will be the arpeggio solo. So I'm going to play the melody. And there is the pickup uh, note. Here we go. So that was the melody that I just played. Now I'm gonna uh, play the melody, the arpeggio, and then after that I, I'll solo using mostly the arpeggio notes. Use the arpeggio. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I'll see you next time.